We are continuing to follow the ongoing crisis in Israel after a surprise attack by Hamas on Saturday. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin announced the Norfolk-based USS Gerald R. Ford Carrier Strike Group is on the way to the area. 10 on your side's Kiana Patterson is outside of Naval Station Norfolk with details on the U.S.'s response to the crisis. Kiana? Yeah, it's about 6,000 sailors that are based right here and North Naval Station Norfolk are already on the USS Gerald R. Ford Carrier Strike Group. Now, they deployed back in May, and this is their second deployment. Now, the Ford was is the newest aircraft carrier in the Navy, and the sailors were already in the Mediterranean Sea since last week, conducting some naval exercises with Italy. Yesterday, the Defense Secretary ordered the Carrier Strike Group to be ready to assist Israel after those surprise attacks on Saturday by Hamas killing about 1,000 people. Among those are at least four American citizens and seven people are missing. President Joe Biden and the Israeli Prime Minister discussed hostages taken by Hamas terrorists. That includes entire families, elderly and young children. Israeli government has formally declared war. Now coming up in just 30 minutes, you'll hear from President Joe Biden. He issued a statement over the weekend and you'll get to hear that from him. In Norfolk, Kiana Patterson, 10 on your side. Kiana, thank you so much. And all of the flags at the United States Capitol are flying half staff in honor of those who died in these attacks. Here in Virginia, Governor Glenn Youngkin announced the flags will also fly at half staff until October 14th.